So now we are looking at this digital universe and we're looking at a global shift from physical to digital. We're looking at this global shift because now all of a sudden everything that we're looking at is digitized. So as an example, security, 50% of all military and defense budget in the future will be based on, on digital problems, yeah? digital wars, digital security. So that's going to change our entire economy, how we do this. Now you can already hack into medical devices. You have a pacemaker, somebody can find a way to get inside of your machine. You have a self-driving car, like Google. Imagine if somebody can break into that car. Once we have 20 million of these cars, they can break into your car and lock you in there for the rest of the year. Right? Or drive you against a tree. So a lot of things will change because of our digital environment. And this is also because we have these revolutions in interfaces. I mean, when I started using computers, you have to type, and then you have to figure out how to use it. Right? Today, you know, I gave my mother an iPad. She's 77. For her, the iPad is the television. Right? She doesn't know there's a difference. She says, I'm watching television, but she's, she means the iPad, right? Because she can just touch it and it goes, right? So the future means we can speak to our computers. We won't be typing in a few years, except for certain purposes. We'll just speak. We'll gesture. We have holograms. We have headsets. It is already possible for a person that's completely paralyzed, a quadriplegic, to walk again using brainwave computing interfaces with a skeleton, an external skeleton. It takes three years and a million euros, but it's possible. 